His guitar playing was superb. He was the quiet one, but the calm one. He would craft his music meticulously with every little stitch in the canvas and gradually built up his songwriting to a point where he became a great writer. All of George's influences on the Beatles were very benign and tremendous. He believed very firmly in goodness and love and tried always to give that to other people. And he couldn't imagine anyone being evil enough to to want to kill him. Michael Abram believed he was on a mission from God to kill the former Beatle George Harrison, and he very nearly succeeded. Behind the gates of the Harrison's home tonight, police forensic teams are still gathering evidence at the scene of the attack. Police say the intruder broke in through a kitchen window. He was carrying a seven-inch knife and managed to stab George Harrison and his wife, Olivia, in a 10-minute rampage round their mansion. The doctors said he had a narrow escape. I'm very sad, devastated. Uh, we've known he's been ill for a long time, and um, just very sad to hear that uh, he's, he's passed on. I'm just privileged to have known him, and I love him like he's my brother. The whole of life should be a spiritual experience because we are spirits who are just encased in bodies. And I think a lot of people can benefit by having this kind of music in their lives as a balance towards more peaceful daily life.